coming soon. <laughs> Hi guys! We're about to shoot our skillet apple crisp episode. I set up my little stations last night. I started doing that because I felt like let's just speed this process along because everything takes so long to set up in the beginning anyway so I usually do a thorough clean of my kitchen because trust me guys it's not always clean and then I set up everything that I need for the shots my pans my recipe my little staged apples and all my little mise en place we're shooting the nut scene <laughs> Work it. I'm just scooping up some blobs of ice cream because I want to put these on a plate and in the freezer so that they stiffen up and stay colder longer. We're afraid for the pictures, at least I'm afraid, that the ice cream's not going to last long if we just scoop it and put it right on top. So this is kind of a method I did um, when I was food styling too. See, it's already like melting a little bit on the plate right now. It's like a food stylist's worst nightmare. Okay, now we're ready. So I got my oats, my toasted nuts, and I only needed a quarter cup, so no waste. I'm gonna keep the leftovers for ice cream sundaes! Or cookies. They'd be good as chocolate chip cookies, too. Or brownies. Wish me luck, we're gonna do the intro, and you know that's the hardest part for me. Good job. I got through my intro in two takes. And actually it was only one take, but then I was being a little perfectionist, so I was like, let's just do it again. And it worked out because the second take was a little bit better. So I'm excited that that's done because that's usually what takes the longest time for me. So I'm just speeding things along by peeling up my apples and then we're ready to go on with the shoot. Let's do this thing. Oh my goodness. These apples tossed with sugar and cinnamon, don't they smell delicious? I know, I just want to eat it right now, right out of this bowl. It's not even cooked, but it smells so good. I think just tossing it in that sugar and cinnamon, it already smells like legit apple pie in here. Well, that was pretty painless for once, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we're done with all like the chopping and prepping scenes. And this time we don't have to bounce back and forth, luckily. We're just here now. I did it again. I messed up my own recipe again. This time it wasn't so bad, I just forgot to add cinnamon and salt, so instead of stressing and redoing the whole scene, I'm just gonna plop it in now and just work it into the script. Oh well. It is what it is. Not a big deal. We're back on track now. We just added it in after, but you know, I don't know how I messed that up. The cinnamon and the salt was like right in front of my face. And the recipe was too. Why are you shaking your head at me? <laughs> Once it bakes in the oven, it kind of like all melts together anyway, so as long as there's some sort of cinnamon and salt somewhere, it's going to taste good, right? Plus it's just you and me eating it today, buddy. <laughs> You're telling the whole world. <laughs> That's why it's important. Go to ChefJulian.com and print out the recipe and follow it. Hello. <laughs> This cast iron skillet is pretty heavy, so I'm making Joe do it off camera, but I'll get all the credit. We're gonna see if it got reduced enough. The best way to tell is to pour it in a measuring cup. Third of a cup? I think so. Ding, ding, ding! How do you like them apples? Since so we have some downtime, we're gonna get our little table ready for the pictures. Remember, we have to do it out of order, so we have to shoot the pictures first, and then we're gonna do the final taste and closing on camera. Overall, today's shoot is going by really well, which is good because once in a while, we need a little break. <laughs> our last episode was a little bit hard, so if you haven't checked it out, go back and see our Halloween episode behind the scenes. Um, there was a lot going on there, and our next one is going to be hard too. I'm already dreading it a little bit. But today, luckily, we catch a little break. Um, it's just one dish, and it's pretty easy. The recipe is easy too. How's this shoot going for you today? So far, so good. Yeah? Easier so, than last time, right? Well, one, because I didn't have to dress up. <laughs> <laughs> While the apple crisp is baking in the oven, I needed Joe to quickly wash one dish for us for the beauty. I did a whole bunch of recipe testing this week, and so I tested it um, in this baking dish, but I thought it'd be a perfect little vehicle to hold our single portion of apple crisp. 
Ideally, it would be nice if we could capture this coffee steam that's coming out. Isn't that the cutest little coffee cup? I had to run around back and forth from the freezer, back and forth, plopping these blobs of ice cream on and off of the crumble. If it starts to melt, I'm gonna have to run back and put it back in the freezer. So that's what I've been doing. I did that at least six, seven times already for our photos. So I hope you guys appreciate the non-melted ice cream on our photos. We should finish all our videos with dessert and a cup of coffee, I gotta say. It's kind of relaxing. Mm -hmm. So if you want the actual recipe, go to our other channel, Chef Julie Yoon Videos, and check it out. It's our skillet apple crisp recipe. And we just ate it. We like killed it right now, just the two of us. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed coming along and the making of this video and you enjoyed the behind the scenes. We love sharing it with you. Let us know what you thought. Remember to push like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Coffee and apple crisp for two. <laughs> well, you gotta try the coffee first. <laughs> you know, that is the recipe and all, so. Oh my god, this is so, so good.